guys what is up it is another morning hey today i am on my way to be in a tv show so yeah i'm gonna bring you guys along and show you guys what a day in the life of an actor is like <laughs> All right, so I just arrived to set. Today we are working on location at the Queen Mary in Long Beach. And I need to film my intro in here because I'm gonna have to be super low key about me filming today. Like I definitely can't have my stick out. They, you know, really discourage filming on set. Actually, it's not even discouraged. It's like, you're not allowed. Like you cannot put out any information, like anything. Working on a TV show is super secretive. And so I'm gonna try to do this low-key style. I can't tell you what show it is. It takes place in the 1930s and so we had to set our hair for a 30s hairstyle. We're gonna be in a party dancing the waltz and yeah that's all I can tell you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I wish I could say more. This is so hard for me. But anyways, I'm gonna try to bring you along. Yeah, I'll see how this works out. I don't want to get kicked off set and if they find out that I'm filming I like won't get booked on jobs, so um, you know I'm following the rules. I'm not gonna expose any of the show or reveal anything, but I just want you guys to be able to see what it's like to work on a TV show. So here we go. First stop is gonna be check-in, and then hair and makeup or breakfast. They usually have a cater breakfast. I really hope catering is here with breakfast because it's early. All right. Let's do this. <laughs> it was my first time with rollers out. All right, so grab my breakfast and just found out that this is like a huge call. Like apparently there's 200 people here today. So usually there is like an omelet bar where they make personalized omelets for everyone. But with a call this big, it's much more like put out the troughs and <laughs> um, yeah. But I'm gonna eat and then go head over to hair and makeup. Cheers, open. I already feel glamorous. Yeah, I think we like have like Asian in me. Is that crazy? Much later. Alright, so we have been on set for four hours now. After hair and makeup, they lined us up, took pictures of all of our costumes. Now we are just waiting to start filming. We went, we saw the set. The set is so amazing. I really wish I could show you guys, but I can't. Um, but it's super amazing. And yeah, we're just waiting to get called on to set to actually act now. So um, they told us that we could be here till like 12 o'clock tonight, which is, that's a 15 hour day. So yeah, this is gonna be a long one. And can't show you guys very much, so sorry about it. Later. All right, so after nine hours of being here, we finally got cut for lunch. This is the longest stretch that I've gone before getting cut for lunch. Usually it's at six hours. But anyways, we're getting lunch right now, and this is like my favorite part of working on set is because the food is so good, and I always get like a to-go box of food to bring home for the next day too. So yeah, I'm gonna go eat and then head back to set. <laughs> So on TV sets, they have trailers like this all over the place. And these trailers are where people change or where all the makeup people are located. And today was a little bit different because there were so many makeup artists. They had us in a tent. But usually you go into a trailer to get your makeup and hair and done. And oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys, I'm wrapped. They just told us uh, dancers. That was the group that I was in. All the dancers were wrapped after our, our one hour lunch. So I'm just going to get my stuff and get out of here. Quick nine hours of work, ten hours of work. I don't know, something like that, but I've got another job tomorrow now, too. Hey guys, I just finished editing that bait that you watched now, and I realized 
I didn't really film as much as I should have. I wanted to tell the story of what a day on a movie set or TV set was really like, and it didn't really come across because all I ended up filming was me eating. So <laughs> I'm gonna have to kind of redo that video another time. But uh, since there's time left in this video for this week, I put out the option on my YouTube community page for people to be able to send me questions for me to answer. So we're gonna do a little mini Q&A for the first time ever. If you sent a question I didn't answer it, I'm sorry. I'm going to at some point do a full Q&A video, but for now this is just a mini one. So let's get started. Okay, the first question comes from James Lemon. Is your knee healing up well and do you feel strength coming back to you since the surgery? Hope it's healing well and you're having a wonderful day. Thank you. I'm having a all right day. Uh, it's pretty nice out. My knee is, I don't know. I was actually almost about to cry in the gym the other day because I was having such a hard time doing basic stuff that should have come back by now. So I don't really know what's going on with my knee. I'm gonna see my physical therapist back home in San Francisco next week, see what they say, but I'm having trouble with my knee. And um, I had on my Instagram story a while ago, so a lot of you guys might've missed it, but I fell really bad into the pool and when I did it I like kind of messed up my knee and it set it back a little bit and so I don't know if I actually did something serious when I fell into the pool or not but hopefully I'll find out about that next week too but yeah strength is like basically the same that it's been for the last couple months and like I've been going to classes at the gym I've been working out almost every day and it's just not happening so it's very frustrating i'm definitely planning on never blowing my knee out again because this is just awful next question from mazanti 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 do you recommend people to chase their dreams regarding snowboard ski and if so how should we go about making that dream a reality yes 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 Look, I think whatever your dream is, if you are passionate about something and you really love something, go out and do it. And that's what I say in my vlogs every week. Go do what makes you happy. And this is what I'm talking about. Like, for me, I found my passion for snowboarding. And I moved to Tahoe with maybe 10 days of snowboarding under my belt, threw myself into competition, snowboarded 10 months out of the year, and just put everything into it. So, yeah, if you have a dream regarding ski or snowboarding, go move to a mountain, get a job in the mountains. Um, I would say if you are not 13 years old, it's going to be hard to say that you want to be a professional snowboarder and go snowboard professionally. Um, I've been really battling the odds to make this one happen for me, but a really easily achievable dream is to move to the mountains, get a job at the resort, and you'll be snowboarding every day. Or if you get a job in the town that the resort is in, and you can snowboard every day and still live that dream and that lifestyle and travel the world and snowboard. And um, I know some people who will go work in Japan or China as ski or snowboard instructors, and that's a good opportunity to travel and get to snowboard around the world. So yeah, there's a lot of options. Um, you kind of just have to jump in and do it, you know, no dipping your toes in, like go all the way, make it happen for yourself. And make it happen for yourself yes if other people aren't supporting you or putting doubts in your head say bye you don't need them you know do it for you and don't let other people be an excuse like do what it takes to get it done all right next question from kadaj tatsumaki if you dye your hair again like it was which color will you use so I was talking to Jordan about this, about what color I'd go to, and the one color that I really haven't done is purple. Before I dyed my hair for the first time, the one color that I wanted to do is purple, and then I never ended up doing it. So that is, I think, the color I'd go to, like a nice lilac-y purple. All right, from Jeremy Canary. I like that name. Is that your real name? I feel like it's not, but if it is, that's cool. Jeremy Canary. Have you or would you ever try to poach Alta? I have not. I've never been to Alta, but yes, I would consider poaching Alta. That'd be a pretty funny video. Um, I could throw that Kmart snowboard in a backpack, go to Alta on skis, and then switch to Top Mountain, or just hike up in the middle of the night and poach it. I don't know, but I, I would do that at some point. Why not? Next up is a question from Jose Ramos. Do you have someone special in your life? Boyfriend, girlfriend, etc. Okay, so <laughs> thank you for not assuming my sexuality. 
Uh, I do not have a boyfriend. I've had boyfriends in the past, but with my lifestyle, it's just really hard to maintain a relationship. I travel 10 months out of the year. I'm usually bouncing place to place every couple months. And I've dated guys who just couldn't handle it. I had one ex, it was really awful. It was a poisonous relationship. But one of the situations was while I was in Japan, he was calling me at like two in the morning and screaming at me because he saw a picture on my Facebook of me with guys. And it's like, yeah, I'm at a competition with guys that I snowboard with. Like we all travel the world together and we know each other. Like, I'm sorry that I'm having a good time and I'm snowboarding. Like I'm not cheating on you, but some guys just can't handle the idea that you're living with guys in another part of the world. And it, it was, making me put my energy into places that it shouldn't have been like my energy for me to succeed needs to be in snowboarding and now with the youtube and instagram and everything else i'm doing i just don't have time for boyfriend like i have so many of my own things that i'm putting my energy into that for me to put time and energy into something else just doesn't really work all right and last question is from joseph myers he asks What's your plans for winter? What about a collaboration with other snowboard YouTubers like Snowboard Pro Camp or Jonathan Buckhouse? You're awesome. Keep up the awesome content. Thank you, Joseph Myers. Uh, my plans for the winter, I will be living here in Los Angeles, but from here I'll be traveling up to Mammoth, Big Bear, Mountain High, and me going back and forth. Uh, so I'll, I'll still spend probably 50% of my time or more in the mountains. Um, and also I am planning on collaborating with a couple different resorts to travel and bring you guys along to show you what different resorts across the US are like or internationally if that opportunity arises. So I will be snowboarding. I would love to collaborate with other snowboard creators. Uh, I don't know Jonathan Buckhouse, but I know Matt Maniachi and David Jones. So, uh, you know, the, the plan is going to be to try to get together with them at least and whoever else I can get together with. So yeah, that is it for Q&A. My first Q&A. Drop the mic. Oh, sorry. That was probably awful for the audio. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching guys. Stay subscribed. I don't know why I said that. Uh, get subscribed if you're not. If you already are, I know you're staying with me. Um, next week I have some skate content coming back. So stay tuned. And go do what makes you happy. Bye. Do what makes you happy. If other people think it's lame or they make fun of it, if it makes you happy, do it. Follow whatever it is that makes your heart race and lights a fire in your soul.